eventually. Please, look down at your feet. Hello there, my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm Purple Rodri. As you can see, Rosalina is actually telling us right now that there is a new number of power stars for us to collect, that number being 18. Now, I have actually gone ahead and fought Bowser off screen because I don't want to show the final fight yet since it isn't our time to fight him together yet. So, I've gone ahead and done that, and with that, it has opened up a new world of possibilities and a bunch of new comets called the Purple Comets. Now, you guys have seen me do a Purple Coin mission before at the gate, so today, uh, we are actually gonna, you know, knock out the remaining stars we have in the garden, and then follow up with that, knocking out some of the Purple Coin missions. I'm a little bit nervous for the Purple Coin missions, I'm not gonna lie. Don't know what I'm in for. I know that a lot of you guys have been telling me that they're really difficult and uh, I'm probably going to have a pretty tough time with it, so we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of just excited to wrap things up and, you know, collect the remaining stars that we have before we go on to the purple coin missions. And if I could learn to fly and land on these platforms for once, uh, we might be able to make it to the garden uh, in this episode. Let me see if I can twist my way up through here and maybe land. And then finally make our way inside. Alright, here we go. Let's head inside the garden then. And let's see what we have in store. If I remember correctly, last time we were in the Melty Molten Galaxy. I think that's what it was called. Melty Molten Galaxy. And yes, here we go. There's actually a Daredevil Comet in orbit. And I think we are going to be in for it now. So here we go. Daredevil Comet in orbit. Lava Spire Daredevil Run in the Melty Molten Galaxy. Here we go. Oh, no. If I remember correctly, this mission was actually a little bit difficult. And at the end, I kind of got bumped into fire, being the only reason I made it to the star in time. So we'll see if I can do it today. I know this is actually considered one of the toughest uh, levels in this game, even though there are a ton of tough levels. So we'll see if I can make it through here. I'm actually pretty confident in my Mario skills, though. If you have seen my progression from the beginning to now, Thanks, you know, to your guys' tips, thanks to your comments you give me, I think we've all improved a little bit together, so we'll see if we can do this. Now, another thing that has actually been worrying me that I wanted to talk to you guys about was, uh, the purple coin missions. I am a little bit confused how many there are, so depending on how many stars we get today, I guess, you know, will depend on how many purple coin missions there are. I guess we'll figure that out uh, once we're done with the Melty Molten Galaxy. Let's fly through here. There's also a Hungry Luma, which we're going to take care of in this place. Uh, well, we'll see if I can find it. We'll see if I can knock that out. Now, I think I'm actually doing quite good here. Um, I kind of remember where I'm going, uh, sort of. This mission wasn't that bad. Um, I think the hardest part about it was just that it's a little bit tedious. You kind of have to take care of it and uh, go slow and steady and just try to make your way through here. Uh, as, uh, I mean, I guess I'm going pretty fast through it. So right now I'm actually doing quite good, which is kind of surprising. I thought I was going to die a few times, but I've already made it. I think, I don't know, is this like halfway? I have no idea if it's has play. It, it's somewhere through there. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a nice Monday. Um, I'm actually uh, done with finals. As you guys knew, I told you last week I was doing finals. I had like five exams in a week. It was hectic. Um, but I did great. It's been a tough school year on me. Uh, just because I've had so many things going on in my life. Uh, a lot of unexpected changes and just a lot of things that had made it difficult, but I uh, managed to pull through in the end and it ended up going well. So thanks to you guys who told me, uh, you know, to do good in finals and stuff and thank you. If you are taking finals right now, I hope the best of luck to you too and I hope you knock out some A's and really, you know, get those good grades going because that's what it's all about. Uh, education, it is the future. Uh, it really is. All right, I don't mean, that's, that's one of my beliefs. Um, okay, I'm actually collecting this. I kind of went a little bit of a tangent there. Um, as you can see, I'm actually just going about collecting some of these gold shards, uh, if you guys remember. Uh, did we do this last time? I think we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did this last time. Um, I think we had to collect those stars there. I'm not gonna go into that, though. I'm gonna be careful. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and do this. And I'm pretty sure this will lead us to the Lava Spire. Oh my goodness. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and make our way through here then. It is already melting me. It wants to cook some Mario. It wants to boil up some Mario in its pot. And then that, that wouldn't be fun though. Think about it. Eating Mario. I mean, you never know. But here we go.
We are a man on a mission. A man with overalls and a red hat who's gonna try to run his way through here without getting his butt burnt. We are one hit away from having to restart everything. Because if you guys remember, uh, daredevil runs actually do not have continue spots or like little checkpoints. You will have to start this mission from the very beginning and the pressure is on me. I'm feeling it, I'm a little bit scared, but uh, I, I think we can do this. Or at least I hope we can. Let me smash this. What do I do? What do I do? Ah, I should get off this. All right, yeah, I'm getting off that. There's no freaking way I'm staying on there. Lava's chasing me. Lava's chasing me. Ah, crap. Okay, so this mission, do not underestimate it. I'm actually really scared because the lava is rising really, really freaking quickly. And those fireball things um, are coming right at me. Wait, I think I can wall jump this. Yes. All right, let's go. Let's wall jump this up. Yes, 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 we're freaking right here. Are you kidding me? Okay, come on. Okay, do it. Shake it. All right, get up there. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That red thing's coming for me. Get on it. Then there we go. After running around, climbing up the lava spire, almost getting my butt burned, we just got ourselves a star. Okay, here we go once again. Back to the melting multi galaxy, fiery dino piranha. Ooh, we're gonna have to fight another piranha inside of an egg. We'll see how this goes. Um, it, it looks like this mission will actually be a little bit easier compared to that Daredevil run. I mean, after you've gone through something like the Daredevil run, I'm sure anything where you get more than one life, you'll be good for. I think that might have actually been our last Daredevil Comet, which is uh, a little bit surprising uh, because things are coming close. Things are coming close to being wrapped up. Let me just get as many of these little chunks as I can um wait no I, I guess I don't bump into the the hungry luma here I for a second I thought we were gonna go straight for the hungry luma oh come on come on come why am I getting my butt burnt are you freaking kidding me Mar? and there we come dead all right here we go once again uh this time I'm gonna try not to get my butt burnt it's um it's a little bit ashy down there now uh, it's, uh, it's kind of getting crispy. I mean, it's like, have you ever had one of those, uh, oven-ready pizzas that you can pop them in there? And if you leave them, like, six minutes too long, it has to be six minutes exactly. But if you leave them in there, like, six minutes too long, and then you take it out, the bottom of the crust is just, like, the most burnt, disgusting thing you'll ever eat. Because you will eat it. Even if it's burnt, I mean, I know I have. If I burnt one of those little oven pizzas, I'm still gonna eat it, even if it's burnt. I mean, it's not a big deal. That is exactly how Mario's butt is after all the times I have burnt it uh, throughout this Let's Play. Let's jump across over here. Um, this is actually not bad. I think I got this. I'm about to try something a little pro, though. Are you guys ready for this? And backflip. And backflip. And backflip. And back. Yeah, look at me. I'm actually playing quite good today. Doing a lot better than I thought I would be able to. I wonder what exactly this is gonna take us to, though. Um, are there are there gold gold shards here again? No. Hum. What do I do here if there are no gold shards? Uh, maybe I have to kill these things. I I mean that would probably be the most that would make the most sense, right? Killing these things. Wait, you just gotta keep them from falling in the fire. Cause if they fall in the fire, it's gonna hurt. So I'm just gonna. I I think I'm just gonna kill these off. And then we, sh we should have something popping up. All right, let me go ahead and do that then. Let's just start kicking these butts. Um, I don't think there are that many of them, so we should be good. Let me run over here. Where you at? Where you at? What you doing? What you do? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't. I don't want to die. Uh, the, the toughest part for Mario, uh, for me, is probably the dying part. I, I take it pretty hard, you know. After I die like six or seven times, I'm just like, ah, Mario, there's a reason why Peach doesn't kiss you. There's a reason why she only pats you on the head and uh, twirls your mustache. It's because you die a lot, Mario. It's because you die. Okay, uh, we went ahead and killed them. Let's make our way to the launch star then and continue through here. Uh, we made it to another planet, it looks like, with lava beams shooting out of everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's just have lava beams circulating around a planet with holes. That, that sounds like it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. The things we do for you, Peach. And, okay. Um, what in the heck is this? Alright, I guess we're collecting shards. This, this is trippy now. Uh, 
What the heck? Okay, so there are moving platforms and there are shards spread around this level. I can do this. I can definitely do this. This is not bad. Um, I, I think I'm skilled enough. Well, we'll see. I mean, there's only five shards. How much, you know, can I get burnt here? There's like a lava thing in the middle. Ah, dude, we got this. All right, let me just chill on this. I think I saw two more over there on the right side. Here we go. We should be able to get both of these right here. Uh, crap! No, 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 no. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Wait, that... Oh, mother fudge. I'm dead. Okay, so I've actually died a bunch of times, as you can see. So hopefully this is the time that you're watching that I get all of them. And if you are watching this, you know dang well I'm gonna get all of them. So yeah, good for me. I'm gonna get all of them this time. Yeah, look at that. That's me. That's me being futuristically positive, uh, is what I like to call it. All right, let's go ahead and make it through here. Slow and steady. All right, this mission's actually... A little bit more difficult than I thought. Hey, power shroom, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and get that then. That probably makes things a lot easier. Where should I go? Um, I think I'm just gonna go this way. I'm, I'm actually doing quite decent on this side. If I can just start getting up on the upper platforms, I should be doing a heck of a lot better. We're already at three. No biggie, guys, and I'm butt burnt. I'm butt burnt. All right, easy, okay? We're about to get our fourth one. Now, where are you hiding, you last golden shard? from hell okay uh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to i don't think i'm no okay i should be able to get it this time there we go and uh with that opens up a launch star we have to make our way back to the triangle looking l that's gonna be real fun because you know shigeru um when i collect five golden shards and lose like seven lives the one thing i want to do is backtrack all the way back to the launch star uh, you know <laughs> sometimes i'm wondering like why do they always put the star like half a mile away? I mean, like, put that thing next to me. Let me be able to, like, click A and jump into it. Don't make me run three minutes down the screen, Shigeru, just to get your little star. All right? I'm saving your princess. You're not saving my princess. I, that does not even make sense. All right. Uh, Luma shop. Um, okay. I don't know if I want to buy anything from the Luma. I already have a power stream. I'm just going to get a life then. Why not? We have a bunch of shards. It's not like I'm going for the Hungry Luma anyways. Well, not right now. Probably next, because we still haven't got it. Transform! All right, got ourselves a life. Oh, nice. I just got myself a life. I actually did. Now that school is freaking out and I'm here for my winter break, I just got myself a life, just like Mario. All right, and uh, it looks like it's time for us to fight someone again. Ooh, peaceful music. What is this madness? Hey! Okay, I remember you guys actually telling me. Watch out for the dude's fiery tail. So thank you. I think we can only hit him when his tail is uh, black, which means it's extinguished. Uh, so like coal. Oh, that's probably what it is. It's like coal. And there we go. We are fighting a red piranha guy. We fought this guy like five times. I'm No joke. I really think we fought him like maybe three. Maybe this is the third time. Um, I know I, we fought this one in the octopus quite a bit. All right, there's our first hit. This is actually not bad now that we're, we know what we're doing. Um, I'd be surprised if I don't get hit anymore for this. All right, let me just go ahead and dodge around it. I'm just going to try to stick as close as I can to that tail. Ah, crap, I actually got hit. I jinxed myself. All right, I'm going to stick as close as I can um, and try to not take hits here. Dodge it. Dodge it. All right, we're doing good. Hey, he's leaving like a trail of fiery stuff behind him. Man, you must have been eating some nasty Goombas. You got some 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 violent stuff going on back there. All right, come on, come on. Come around, please. Can I get you already? You know you want me to get you. You wouldn't be here for the third freaking time if you didn't want to get hit. And there we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just destroyed him because his feathers or plant leaves, whatever they were, completely uh, flew off of him. So very good. That actually was not too bad. Not too bad for us. After running around, defeating that fiery guy once again, we just got ourselves a star. And last but not least, we are going back to the Melty Molten Galaxy, the Sinking Lava Spire. Because as you guys can see, there was a little question mark. I'm actually making a question mark right now with my arms. A dot with my left and a weird looking like question mark thing with my right. And then I'm moving the controller with my face. 
Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing with my arms. Okay, let's just make our way through here and see if I can find where the heck this hungry Luma was. I actually do kind of remember uh, where it was. I, I I think it's near the pull stars, the uh, reach stars or whatever the heck they're called. So I'm going to try to collect as many as possible because I don't know how many star bits we might need. Uh, I did get a tip from you guys though that if we fall inside of a volcano where the launch star is, you can actually get a ton of star bits, which will allow us to get the Hungry Luma. And I'm guessing that's one of the best, most efficient ways to do it, unless you want to sit here and die a bajillion times to collect all those freaking Hungry Luma star galaxy star bits. There we go. Yeah, I completely forgot star bits for a second. It's been so long since we've had to collect them for the Hungry Lumas um, that, you know, sometimes it just you just don't remember that stuff. All right, we got this, guys. You know... We've made it through this mission a bajillion times. We've done this. We got this. It, it should it should be easy peasy. All right, so here's the launch star I was told to drop into. So let's go ahead and drop down. And yes, I didn't die. Is this a spring? Uh, okay. There's nothing here. Maybe we have to hit the switch. Let's try that. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. There's a ton of star bits. All right, thank you guys for that. That is amazing. Yeah, I, I don't know how you guys discover some of this. Like. I don't know how people discover some stuff. Like, it's insane. Like, who would fall in that? Well, maybe someone who was like, I guess, waiting there. And uh, here's the Hungry Luma. Hey, you! You got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll transform again, probably. Let's feed it its hungry belly. Because it hasn't already eaten a bajillion star bits. And I guess it wants more. So I'm gonna just go ahead and give it more. That's it, I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! Imagine boo! Okay, so, with that, a new galaxy has appeared. A new planet was born, actually. Galaxy, what am I talking about? Okay, now let's make our way into the pink launch star and head over there. See what we have in store for us in this place. Oh boy, so, <laughs> receding lava! This'll be fun! What are we doing here? Oh, I see some silver stars. Oh, mother fudge. Oh, come on. Really, game? Like, do you uh, you can't just, like, put a star on top of, like, a flagpole here near the end? You, you're gonna make me play jump rope with, like, a fire thing while lava is receding towards me and enemies are flying at my face? You do that. Okay, at least you put a silver star on a, on a pole. At least they know what they're doing somehow. All right, we're at, we're at three... We got this. We got this. This isn't even a problem. The biggest problem is going to be figuring out where the heck they all are because uh, no idea where the last one is, and I'm about to die. Uh, two hits away. This is going to be hard. All right. Uh, let's go this way, okay? And I don't know. Hey, there's a power shroom, though. I should totally collect that power shroom before I keep going because if I don't, I'm probably going to die, and this is not good for me. Hey, burn me into it. I'll take it. Thanks for the help, fiery guy. All right, we're back to the jump rope. Um, so I guess we should take the other path because we definitely went down the wrong path the first time we did this. Now, recede, you freaking lava fire thing. And where is this last star? I do not see it. All right, we're going to wait here. I I we got this, though. We got like five, four, four lives, four power lives. And I see the star up there. Okay, then this wasn't too bad, and uh, we got ourselves a fifth. And once again, put it in the middle of the lava path, Shigeru. Uh, Alright, let's walk this half a mile and go get ourselves what we've been waiting for. And there we go, after running around for half a mile and getting our butts burnt, we just got ourselves a star. So with that guys, we are at 105 stars. Now if you guys have any tips, let me know. I don't really know how many purple comet missions there are. If there are 15, please let me know because I think there's only 120 stars. So that means that there we have 15 galaxies left and 15 comets. Uh, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.